new day. Oh my. <gasps> this is the best thing ever. What? Okay, y'all. It's a new day. It's a new unboxing. And today we have something from Amazon. So let's open it up and find out what it is. Okay, so this is what I think, if this is what I think it is, it there, maybe, there we go, um, it's because it was advertised to me, and, uh, just so funny, because I was like, gosh dang it, they got me again, that's exactly what I want, so let's see if that is what I think it is, yeah, okay, it is, so, <laughs> This was advertised to me, I think, on, like, an Amazon, actually. I, or, you know what? No, it was on Instagram, of course, as it always is. So, it was on Instagram, but then I went to Amazon and found one for um, a better price. And <laughs> it is none other than a shoe stretcher. <laughs> I am so curious to see how well this works. <laughs> this is so interesting. Ooh, comes with a metal shoe horn. Nice. And this wasn't very expensive. <laughs> if anybody's interested in it, I'll do a swipe up. I want to say it was like $30 or something. But if this works, I am going to be so stinking excited. Let's get it out. Wow, they're like heavy. <laughs> Look at this contraption. Okay. So this goes into your shoe and then it spreads. Um, I believe when you twist it, it spreads more and more. Yeah, as you can see on the front there, I'm twisting this bottom part. And anyways, this goes in the base of your shoe right here. So that's like the full shoe and it works for heels as well. But because, um, if you don't know, you can find out this whole story in my Q&A on my highlights. But when I gained a bunch of weight, my foot size dramatically changed. And so it's like this big debate on whether my foot size is going to go back to normal or if it's going to stay the same. Uh, because a lot of my shoes are a lot smaller than what like really fits me comfortable right now. Um, and I even bought some that were even small for me when I was my normal size. Okay, let's get the other one here. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about and why I bought these. Okay, so this is a pair of Louboutins that I have that I absolutely adore. As you can see, I've never worn them, which is literally a crime. And um, a good trick when they are a little bit uh, small is you put just a little bit of baby powder in uh, the footbed and it just makes your foot just slip in and out so much easier. It's like a really great trick. But um, they like just fit. They are size 36 and um, I'm typically a size like 37, 37 and a half. And nowadays I could probably fit 38 or 38 and a half even. Um, my shoe size has kind of gone up in the width of my foot. So I buy bigger, not necessarily for the length, but for the width. Anyways, these were tight when I bought them, but I bought them on sale and I absolutely adore the red velvet. I just think it's like the prettiest fall Christmas shoe ever in life. I'm a ton obsessed. I also saw this same exact red velvet in a Jimmy Choo shoe that um, like got away from me and I never bought. And so when I saw Louboutin have them on sale, I just jumped for whatever size that they had left, uh, which was only a 36. So anyways, I saw somebody had put something similar here where you, oop, you do like a this situation and then like a this situation like that, right? Let me scoot it back. And then you twist this, and as you twist, it widens as well as um, expands here. So it will stretch out your shoe exactly where you need it. But also, thought this was such a cool little feature that it also has. Um, you see these little holes right here? I'll show you on the other one. They have all these little holes right here. Well, that is actually for these. If you were to need them, like if you have of a certain shape in your foot that makes like just a one particular part of a shoe uncomfortable. Um, that is because, uh, or not, excuse me, what did I just say? Not that's because that is what this is for. You pop this 
in one of the areas that you might need it let's say like your pinky toe or something uh, like that and so then it makes that one particular area on the shoe um, stretch out a little bit more to accommodate whatever uh, you're needing and it has like all these different sizes and different places that you can put it so I thought that was like a really cool little thing that I had never thought of doing that would probably be really helpful oh cool and I was just looking at the instructions you can see this little picture right there this is for the instep so you can put it here oh that's so cool and then um, expand the whole thing and it will make this instep uh, a little bit wider as well you know what I think I might do that I think I might, should I do it like that or maybe like this? Yeah, 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 I think it's like that. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, pause and then come back when I have it like fully expanded because I'm sure you don't want to watch me twisting this for like four minutes. Okay, this thing is so cool. Are you ready? I already found a use. Actually, I didn't think I was gonna use them and then I found such a good use for them. I put them on either, either side. Because as you can see, this right here was in just um, like just in a shape enough to like not really be putting enough pressure on these two points like I was wanting it to. Um, so I popped those in there and then did it again and it worked like a charm. Like it's exactly what I was wanting. And then this part, I actually switched this around because as you can see, this is a, has a lot more depth than um, the other side. The other side really like ends around here, but it allowed it to like sit further down in the heel. So I just kind of uh, flipped that around. Uh, to make it fit a little bit better. I just kind of played around with it. But uh, yeah, you're supposed to do this. And then um, alternatively, you can uh, put a little um, hairdryer heat to it. And when you put the hairdryer on it, the heat just lets the uh, leather kind of relax a little bit more. And as it cools down, it will uh, hopefully take that new shape. That is what cobblers typically do. They uh, put a little heat on it and then they leave it like this for a week or whatever and it allows it to uh, stretch a lot more. I think this is going to be like so useful actually. <laughs> I can already think of like so many shoes that I really want to try this with and do this to you, uh, do do this too. Also, um, you can put this in a loafer, which I think is really cool as well. Like a, like a particular part in a loafer, or, like rubs against um, like at the side of your foot or something like that. I'm so happy with this. <laughs> I'm going to do a uh, swipe up link to it just in case you're interested. I know it's like so random, uh, but I think it was like, it was either 20 or $30. I'll put it on screen, but still for like something that is so useful. And if you buy as many sales shoes as I do, I feel like this is something you need. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, please like this video, subscribe, and click the bell so you're notified because I upload new unboxing videos every single day.